I want to say thank you so much for joining us tonight for your 5 News at 10. I'm Michael Wilson. Well, the NWA MLK Council hosted guest speaker Dr. Cornell West today for its 27th annual MLK recommitment celebration in Fayetteville. And 5 News reporter Rachel Williams, she was at the sold out event and shares why this event is so important. Hey, Rachel. Hey Micah, this is a sold out event with over 700 attendees and the recommitment celebration is all about highlighting Dr. King's legacy and inclusivity. Because Martin's not an isolated icon in a museum, he's part of a vital tradition. And Saturday night, hundreds of people came together to continue Dr. King's tradition of serving by giving out scholarships and recognizing those making a difference with the wards. We're hoping that he's going to really challenge us to continue to move the needle as it relates to diversity, equity, and inclusion in Northwest Arkansas. Our goal is to ensure that we make this our Northwest Arkansas. And so we're hoping that tonight that Dr. West is going to bring some powerful words to help us get to that point. Higgins says coming out of a pandemic, their theme this year was to go big or go home. And we wanted to bring a phenomenal and powerful speaker to our community and that's On Monday, the MLK Council will host a Freedom March, and Dr. West hopes to be a part of that. If I'm in my right mind, I'll be marching on Monday with my dear sister and the others, both for Martin, but also for the long caravan of love of the black freedom struggle as concerned with all human beings, but as concerned first and foremost with those who have been kitchen hell in this country for 400 years on the chocolate side of town. Dr. West says it's important to remember the past and advises the younger generation to carry out Dr. King's legacy and tradition. And that tradition is rooted on something that never goes out of style, which is integrity, honesty, decency, generosity, treating people right, and trying to serve others before you die. That never goes out of style. Every generation got to come to terms with that. The next MLK celebration is a memorial service happening at St. James Baptist Church on Sunday at 3 p.m., followed by more events on Monday. But for now, I'm in Fayetteville, covering news where you live. Rachel Williams, 5 News. All right, Rachel, thank you. Well, the NWA MLK Council also hosted a community service project today. Now, it partnered with Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, no, I had to do that again. The event included donations of winter clothes, such as hats and gloves for children and adults in need. Organizers say it's important to have this event because some families in our area don't have winter essentials, and they say it is crucial that they fill in the gap. The NWA MLK Council also has a youth group called Dream Keepers, where they teach them at a young age the importance of giving back. Every year, the organization starts off with a community service project. Now, they've been doing this for the past 27 years, saying it represents Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy of serving all mankind. We knew that he gave back to the community, so therefore we want to emulate that, that we want to do the same thing, encourage people to give back and help others, because that's what Dr. King stood for. Now this weekend, there will be several other MLK Day celebrations taking place. For a full list of events, head over to our website, that's 5newsonline.com.